Hi, I'm Andrew from the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. We're working on a project to see whether it's a good idea to reintroduce pine martins to the Forest of Dean and Lower Wye Valley. In this vlog, I'm going to be talking about the socio-economic feasibility of a reintroduction, which simply means, what is it like to live alongside pine martins? So first of all, I should talk about the potential costs. So we know that pine martins can take poultry, but there's good evidence that this is only in specific situations. So pine martins hate going into open areas, they're woodland specialists. So um, big free range poultry farms are not really at risk uh, because they're often not within woodland. However, if you keep poultry, so just chickens and pheasants in close proximity to woodland or within woodland, then there may be a risk there. So it's the job of the feasibility study to really find out how often this happens. Is this a rare event caused by the odd problem animal or a more common occurrence? Also, if you're protecting your poultry against foxes and mink and polecats and predators that already exist here, is there a need to do anything more or is that sufficient to protect your livestock against pine martens? So what are the potential benefits of living alongside pine martens? Pine martens are a rare and elusive species and very difficult to see, except when you, they come into feeding stations. Uh, so they readily feed on peanuts, for instance. Um, and this can be really useful for drawing in tourists and for boosting ecotourism in an area. And of course, the second major benefit could be the joy of having pine martins uh, in your local woodland, which is a far more difficult thing to quantify. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, the next vlog is going to be about the reasons behind a reintroduction. What's the purpose? Why is it being considered at all? Thanks for that.